Welcome Cancer, this is going to be a general love reading. So if you so happen to click on this reading, trust that there is a message here for you. All right, we do have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. King of Swords in the reverse. And one second, let's see metamorphosis and the two of swords came out with the two of wands so there is something that is going stagnant here or feels stagnant or stuck or hard decision to make the two of wands is showing some type of crossroads but there's also a message of having faith in your decisions okay and trusting your judgment here um, the Ace of Swords is showing some type of cloudy judgment. Someone feeling like they're needing more clarity. Okay, the King of Swords in the reverse is not a very nice energy. Um, I feel there's a need for self-awareness because it is so important, you know, to be self-aware. I feel like with this person, they may... Hmm... They may be struggling with that. This person's confused in their head. They're confused. Why they're confused? Because there's an argument, there's a challenge. There is something coming up, a message. We have fire sign coming in and water sign, another water sign you could be dealing with. Let's clarify. Sorry about the loud noise. Someone's confused over an argument, disagreement. Five of Swords. I feel that there's a sense of conflict, frustration, feeling like someone's playing a game. person is taking this separation very very hard two of cups is saying that there is a breakup um, there is a disconnect here and this is weighing heavy on this person they do want a second chance it feels like with the seven of cups wow it's recovering from a loss four of cups I'm satisfied you're unsatisfied with this person I feel Feel with this King of Swords, this person may not want to take accountability of their actions. Um, and I feel that you're feeling, you know, disrespected or hurt in some way. Like, I feel like you miss them, but you don't miss them. Like, you don't miss this side of them. Okay. Let's get that Ten of Cups. They're really sad, though. This is feeling the challenge is the crossroads again. Like, can we fix this? Can this heal? Can this work? Right? In the past, it feels like you have got out of a very toxic relationship and moved, full, and moved forward. This person is still conflicted in the mind over everything. Again, you could be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius. But they're very, like... I don't know, I feel like you broke free from a very, you know, could be toxic relationship or unhealthy relationship that could have been a family dynamic for some, but with the Ten of Cups, it is saying that, you know, there's a lot of unhappiness here, but it's like still feeling that can this work, can this heal, can this be something? I don't feel like this person wants to give up. They could be the ones that's not getting the clarity here because they're feeling like they're they're not getting the clarity that they want there's still something they want to clear up they're trying to stand strong within this conflict but when it comes to it's like they're trying to stand their ground But they're really hurt. Something was very toxic. It feels like this person. I don't know. I feel like somebody is wanting to send you a message. Because the Ten of Swords in the reverse is basically saying that 
some type of acceptance here in the near future. But there is an emotional message wanting to come in. But at the same time, I feel that you're very conflicted. You do, I feel for some of you guys, do miss this person, but you just don't miss the toxicity, how they act with the King of Swords. Feels like the outcome is showing some foolishness with this person. Like this person is being like, like not even thinking they're being impulsive, maybe being reckless in the outcome. There may be, you know, something here with this Ace of Wands where it's a lot of passion and chemistry, uh, but it does feel like somebody is on a reckless path and I feel it's this person. Um, let's get the love oracles. We'll see what's coming through. That's interesting. Truth is coming in. That's nice. Confessions, clarity, secrets being revealed. Crossroads. The truth is here. The truth is here. And there is a player in the reading. So it's showing like more of a charmer, um, someone who manipulates um, like a karmic partner. But there's a sense of you feeling because in the challenge it's showing a crossroads and it's like they want they're they want i don't know they're acting strong in this argument but they're wrong they're putting up a front remember the king of swords is very manipulated and calculated they know that there's a separation i feel that they don't want you to be completely out of their life but also they they need to stand their ground and like believe what like believe in their lies and if they believe in their lies hard enough then you'll believe it ah i know that sounds really crazy that i said that but that's what i'm feeling very strongly here um it feels like they're <sighs> they're a player it's like romantic feelings though they get to your emotions. There's going to be truth. You're going to see the truth. You're, something here in the outcome is showing you the truth. You're seeing a diff them switching back into this fool. All right, Cancer. I'm sorry. I, if you're new to my channel. I'm very blunt and truthful. And, you know, I just don't like giving false hope. I read the cards. That's how they come out. Okay. Uh, but from what the cards are saying... It looks like somebody really, it, it looks like they do, you know, they are, they're coming in as confessions that they're sorry they treated you badly. But then it looks like they make the same, they make a mistake again. And they, we will be together. And they're confident that you'll be together with them because something here is what makes them believe or a message that they can get to you again. Like they can get in, you'll forgive them again or you'll take them back again. We'll be together. Let's get your, let's see what um, the energetic alignment oracle. This has become deeply connected to your purpose and feel no resistance. Okay, so this is, your guides are calling. So your message is, your guides and angels have been trying to communicate with you. Don't leave them on red. <laughs> Love that so much. And do it for you. Understand what makes you tick and make it happen, not for anyone else. Challenge your beliefs. Your belief system may be getting in the way of your intuition. Take a step back and evaluate, and transformation is here. The time for change is now. You may have some important decisions to make. It does show player-like energy. Oh, let's get some advice from Spirit here. got two don't get caught up in conflict and don't try and force things those are the two advice that came out together and a deep realization or major breakthrough is experienced within the next few days so from the time that you watch this video something's going to be revealed to you okay that's really interesting to see that something you may have already seen something coming in you know some truth 
but it's something's coming in. You're going to see the truth. Spirit is saying, cool your emotions. Okay, full moon in Aries and know your worth. New moon in Taurus. The challenge is a lot of unhappiness from the past is the challenge. Like, and it's putting someone in a crossroads. And it feels like this person is going, like, wanting to come in <clears throat> in some way. But then again, kind of remind you why you made the choice in the first place, right? Like, kind of remind you of, like, why you are unhappy with them. Okay, let's get the love message. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. It feels like there may be a lot of passion involved. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present moment. Enjoy it. These are your love messages. Okay. Um, but yeah, I do see there is some type of choice. Again, as he's, the, it says, um, what does it say? Oh, your spirit guides are calling you here. So something about your intuition. Be true to yourself. Because it does feel like there is like some type of crossroads here. Okay, guys. A lot of passion, but also a lot of possibly unhealthy like things that are going on that happened in the past. But this person is looking at, at this situation. It is weighing heavy on them. Even if they are acting like it's not. It is. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for you, Cancer. I hope this message helped. Um, again, tarot is never set in stone. Things can change all the time. But this is a message here for someone. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if it helped or brought clarity in any way, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very, very soon. God bless.